Syracuse. <clears throat> Syracuse. I am going to be speaking at a on a panel. Um, it's called Media Mobile. So I guess we're gonna be talking about media and things like that. They're gonna be asking us media questions about being black women in the media. And um, yeah, it should be interesting because Jayla is going and I haven't seen Jayla since last year in August when I went to, to New York. So um, I'm gonna be seeing her, but this time we're gonna be upstate New York. So that should be interesting. I won't say fun, interesting. Um, I've never been to Syracuse. I've been to Albany and um, so I don't know if Syracuse is about the same, but we'll see. Albany was Albany. My bags are packed and I'm ready to go. It's an overnight trip. I'll be back tomorrow night because um, today is Thursday. I'll be back Friday. Um, so it's not like I have to, I took a lot of clothes, but I learned my lesson. This time, instead of bringing one pair of clothes, I brought, I have on my sweats, right? My champion sweats. But I also brought two, actually like three off outfit choices, a jumpsuit and then I have some pants and I have like three different turtlenecks just in case I get stranded or trapped. I brought three pair of shoes. I got two pair of boots, one pair of sneakers, one pair of heels and a pair of slides. I am over preparing myself this time because last time I went somewhere and thought it was just an overnight trip, it ended up being I was stuck for two days. So I wanna make sure that I at least have enough clothes to last me through the weekend just in case. I mean, granted they are like kind of dressy options because I really didn't know what I wanted to wear to this thing tonight. I was really struggling. Like, I don't know. I had an idea of what I wanted to wear in my head and I could not find it for the life of me. I just, that means I need to come out with my own clothing line. That's what that means. I just need to make my own clothes because I always know what I want to wear, but I can never find it. So, Cam just got home from the gym. So I'm gonna head out. Hi, babe. Love you. Love you. Hey, guys. So, I made it to Syracuse. And I need to change my battery on my camera. But I made it to Syracuse. Um, I'm about to go to my room, my oh, stuff up, and then I'm going to meet Jayla because she said that she wants to go to CBS. What is my room number? 608. 608. They're talking about it's gonna snow tomorrow and I am not here for it, listen. I rebuke these cancellations and delays in the name of Jesus. I am not trying to get stuck here, all right? I wanna be at home, so I'm not gonna get stuck here. I'm just gonna keep speaking it. I asked for a king bed, but of course they didn't have one. So, got two doubles. Um, it's just like a typical college town, it looks like. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Look at Jayla looking all comfy and cozy. Okay, guys, we're about to walk to um, CVS. So, CVS, what you need to CVS? Shampoo, conditioner. Dang, girl, you about to wash your whole head? Yeah. But I'm just washing my wig. Uh, I mean, of course you're washing the wig, but. Yeah. Listen, washing the wig is a process for me, so I don't. For real? Yes, no, I don't, I mean, even, I I don't the, even try it. One of the students is coming to curl Oh. Girl, I already handled. You know, I got in a little bit earlier than you, so I was like, "Listen, we gotta handle this situation." She's gonna, she's gonna like curl. How, how did you find somebody to curl it? Girl, listen, okay, social media. They're like, uh, "Who wants to come curl my hair?" <laughs> At this restaurant, what is this called? Rachel's? Or no, no, this is Citrus Bar. Yeah. Whatever, because we're eating at an awkward time. Yeah, Rachel's isn't open yet. Yeah, but Jayla got her salad. I got a salad. Look at me eating greens. Yes, strawberry salad. Look at Jayla's steak. It look good though, right? I mean, it look good, but dang, I know it is kind of big. Think he got some soup. I didn't. Okay, so I'm back in my room. I'm just gonna chill here until it's time for me to get ready for the event. Um. We have to be there at like 6.45, I think. So we'll have about like an hour and a half to get ready. I'll probably do my makeup and stuff. I'm probably gonna go live on Instagram or YouTube. I may go live on YouTube. I think there's this function where you can go live on YouTube um, from your phone. But I usually go live from Instagram on my phone, so I don't know. All right, we're ready to party. I'm in Jayla's room now. 
She just got her hair done, her entourage. She has an entourage. <laughs> Slayed her hair for her. I'm wearing these cargo pants from Topshop and I put a chain on it. This is actually from a bag, but I wanted a chain because everybody be doing a chain. So I want to put a chain on it. It's definitely a spring trend. It is a spring trend. And then I have on a white, a white her leg. Let me roll it back up. It was unrolling. I was gonna cut it, make it a crop. Like a yeah, I was gonna cut it, and make a crop top. Oh, that would be cute too. But I was like, you know what? Let me not be adventurous right now. I don't have time for this. <laughs> and because I'm little, I had to put this thing in the back. I mean, oh, wow. you could even, you to could like even tighten. Because like oh. I didn't. I know, right? Yeah. Because I didn't. Um, I didn't have a like a cute belt to go with this. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'm just gonna put this thing in the back to t to <laughs> tighten my pants. So hopefully it don't look stupid. You probably can't even no, really tell, I but I didn't tell tell you. it's by that brand that makes the the boob tape. They sell it at Target. Fashion, oh, the, the fashion tape. tape. When you if you have the gap problem. Really, I need to do that because I have a skirt. You like, can I also put skirt like you know the bands and um, that you use for your wig. Elastic bands. Like cut and put it. Sew in your it pants. in your pants. Yeah. Okay, I, so I thought about doing that too. Use, like, but this one's convenient because it's like removable, so I can put it on different mm -hmm. pants and clamp it on there. Little people props. So I was gonna say, girl, you were if you're little, I know. You, but you know how like some girls they have like a really small waist and a big booty and like when they wear shorts or something it like pokes out in the back to solve that problem too. Yeah, that I got a little bit of booty so like all my pants be sticking out in the back. <laughs> they don't make stuff when for, little, for the skinny like girls with bigger. the curse. <laughs> Use the assistants for the evening. Hey. <laughs> so if you hear somebody Vlogging. talking it's gonna be them. They're gonna be vlogging, They're gonna be vlogging for us. We out here trying to be cute with our heels and stuff. Walking to this event. Jayla back there with her boobies on. Somebody should pick us up and drive us up across the street. <laughs> right there, and then we're gonna go up the stairs. Is this building right here? This building right here. Okay, good. You see my trophy wife? Look at all these steps. I, this is why I was gonna wear my sneakers, Jayla. I told you. Listen, mm -hmm. you just gotta power through it. The faster you do it, the less you'll feel. No games are being played. Let me just check this. Look it, we're on the screen. So this one's gonna take you upstairs to- Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. There's Jayla. We so fancy. I'm all the way over there. Here we go. Maybe. Thank you so much for everyone to come here. And thank you to this lovely ladies for giving you this panel. Thank Yay. you. Yay. I'm Vicki Logan. Uh, I have a YouTube channel and an Instagram feed. That's right. Yeah, I know, you know. yeah, I'm from Dallas, Texas. Well, Fort Worth. I'm born and raised in Fort Worth. Um, and I grew you from Dallas? Yeah. <laughs> and I currently reside in Chicago. Yup, to Chi Town, Chi Town. I think the main challenge. For, for us in particular is that our job was is so new. It's such a new career path. It's, um, it's only become like its own industry within the past 10 years. So being a YouTuber or being an influencer, it's really new because social media took off so fast. We've been learning how to make this into a business and learning how to do this professionally as it's grown professionally. We will ask for tips and advice. It's like, you just gotta be able to go with the flow and really be self-motivated and you have to be on your toes all the time, thinking on your toes all the time. Like, what's the next move? What's the, how can I do this? How can I make this better? Because nobody can teach you how to do what we do. I mean, there's classes for it now if you go to like a smaller class or something like this where we can talk to you guys, but there's no like curriculum, you know? So it's like we're learning how to do this as we go. And I think that's really been the struggle because if you're not the kind of person who can push yourself hard, you'll fall off. And that's just that's just the truth of the matter. You have to really be strong enough to do it on your own. I think what you're talking about is I was saying that I was I don't I was not good at public speaking. 
speaking? Is that what you're talking about? Um, yeah, I'm not good at Well, I'm getting better. I think I'm doing a lot doing a better. Job. I'm not sweating right now, so <laughs> that's good. But in college, I did horrible in my public speaking class. Um, I was always really nervous. I'm actually really great in front of a camera, but like in front of large people, large bodies of people. I get really nervous and I stumble over my words a lot, but I'm doing a lot better. I think what really helped me was to actually just force myself to do it. Um, because if you don't do something, then you can't strengthen that muscle, you know? So you kind of have to strengthen yourself in the areas that you're uncomfortable in. And I mean, that's just the fact of the matter. It, was, it really just took me actually doing it. Um, I've gotten offers to do stuff like this before and I would turn it down because I'm like, I can't do that. Why would they want me to talk? I can't talk. But I think now that I'm older, and I'm like, you know what? If I stumble over my words, it's okay. I, I think what matters more is being more driven to encourage people. And that's, it's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. There have been many times where I wanted to shut down, delete, delete my channel. I'm done. I'm getting off because can we just talk about the trolls for a minute? Um, it's just, it's it's hard because the internet, there's like, you can you can post whatever you want and you can be yourself, but also there are some not so nice people who can also post whatever they want and, and say whatever they want about you. And I think Jayla kind of understands this because we kind of went through this together at some point where it's like people start saying things about you and start trying to start drama and all this. Like, oh, she did this, this, and this with this person, this person, and ooh, look at how she looked at her in that at 3.55 um, in this video. She looked at her like she didn't like her. Oh, they're not friends. It's crazy. And it can actually affect your personal life in a way, especially if you're posting other people, like you're vlogging your life and you're posting other people and maybe they didn't want to be on camera like that. Maybe they didn't know that you were going to post. You know, it's like there, there's these barriers you kind of have to set up. And I've had to take off some time a couple times and be like, okay, I got to set up some barriers because this is not going to affect my family. It's not going to affect my personal life, my friendships. I cannot let this seep into other places of my life and destroy the things that matter to me. Um, especially my spirit and my physical health and all of that. If I'm not taken care of, y'all can't watch me no way because I'm dead. I have to take care of myself first. It's just real. I have to take care of myself first. Um, and so, you know, I, I had to take off time to do my own healing, you know, and, and breathing. And every year I do a fast, the beginning of the year, I do no social media. Um, and I also take periodical breaks where I'll take a, a week or two off and I'll just go miss and then y'all won't see me and I'll come back and be like, hey y'all, I'm rejuvenated. I can do this again. <laughs> There's only so much you can take of that. You have to like balance it out with real life and real relationships and you know, building real things outside of the internet. So it's it's been tough, especially growing up and coming into your own as an adult. It's almost like when you make a mistake or you do something wrong, people will crucify you for it and, and not ask, <laughs> ask questions later. And it's like I have to give myself that grace. Like I'm still growing, I'm still learning, you know, it's okay. I'm a, I'm a human being. I'm not invincible. Um, when you were saying about the analytics, it doesn't really, I think what helps to not hurt the analytics is to document, kind of like how the Kardashians have turned their dust into diamonds. It's like, you kind of have to like be vulnerable and be transparent with your audience. And that makes you, that makes them love you more when you're open about your struggles and the things that you go through. So I think we, we kind of learn how to flip it in a way that kind of helps us in the long run. Like, hey, Y'all know that this bad thing happened, I'm gonna talk about it. And then you can draw more people by your vulnerability. I think that journey is just helping to build endurance, <laughs> perseverance, patience, all the wonderful things that we need as humans to survive. Um, I will say, if I do take a break, when I come back, I wanna say I get more views because people are like, where's she been at? Mm -hmm. right. What's she doing? Mm -hmm. What's new? Somebody was like, girl, you look like you had bags. Like you been, you moved to New York and you were stressing. I'm thinking. <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three. how you know we're troopers. Real divas don't quit. When I tell you my feet are killing me. 
<laughs> all right so now we're headed down yes oh wait did i update you guys we finished the event oh yeah i did because we were downstairs we're about to head downstairs and get something to eat because you know jayla gotta eat you know I, the salad was bomb i could have another salad hopefully they're still open pretty late because it's like 10 40 so i want to make sure that we actually can eat you know, folks in their hours try to be going to bed and stuff. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> Says the person that be going to bed. Shut up. <laughs> Don't do me, okay? I'm just, I like to sleep. Cool. Well, I mean, yeah. I sleep, you know, like on During time. During the night? Yeah. yeah, like at night. Like, we're supposed to. <laughs> now, you know I'm not going, I'm not going to eat a lot, Jayla, so. <laughs> okay, so we made it. I'm, well, we made it. I just walked Jayla back to her room. Got my shoes, made it back to my room. And now I am about to retire because I am tired, okay? We just ate and um, we ate at the bar downstairs. It's pretty good. I am not really worried, but I am a little bit cautious because I know that the weather is not the best. It's, it's gonna snow tonight, so hopefully, I can make it out on time, get this flight tomorrow, head back to my boo and my dog. And yeah, so. Good night, folks. Look at all this snow. Like it's piled. Oh my God, it is so much snow. I can't. <laughs> And I didn't bring a hood or snow boots, so that's awesome. I'm about to head up to Jayla's room, hoping that maybe her flight's not canceled and we can actually head on to the airport. Um, but I am a little bit nervous because it is still snowing. It's my airport outfit. Got on some champion sweats, my Nike Air, Air Max Plus. This coat is from I Am Gia, the label. And um, these glasses are from Sorella Boutique. Okay. Let's do a once over of the room, child. Because last time I left my whole charger and my camera um, battery in the charger. So make sure everything is Gucci. Everything is Gucci. Okay. Okay, so update. I'm stuck. My flight just got canceled. And they talking about some, I'm gonna be flying out on Sunday. Not having it. So I'm about to go to this airport and I demand that I catch a flight. If I gotta get on this flight with Jayla, I'm doing it. I'm not stuck here. I would rather be anywhere else. <laughs> I just wanna be somewhere where there's no snow and there's people that can take care of me. I wanna, if I gotta go to Dallas, I don't care where I gotta go. I'm going somewhere, but I ain't staying here. And not by myself, Jesus. So, I'm going to this airport. Cause we're not, we're not doing this again. We're not doing this again. Deep breaths. Trying not to whine. We just going to see. It ain't no guarantee mom leaving either. You know that. I know, but. I have hope. Is that? Yes, I have hope. I prayed too hard on the flight here to not have something good happen right now. Listen, I'm expecting Good I don't want the snow to mess up my hair. Girl, at this point, that ain't even the, that ain't even the <laughs> If I need to fix it when I get home, because I'm going home. I'm going to fix it when I get home. Listen, put my sunnings on. We're about to make this happen. Out. Do you need help? I'm just going to go back to here. Jayla, do you want me to get the other one? Okay. okay, guys, it says, even if to go home, it says, I won't be able to leave to Sunday. Your girl got to get on a train. I'm paying for an Uber, the hour ride back, something. How far is Syracuse from New York City? Like two hours? Uh-uh. You gotta go home. Two. If it's flights leaving out of New York, I'm I'm riding with you <laughs> on that two hour Uber. <laughs> this ain't floor, this is floor two. <laughs> Somebody help. 
Somebody sad. help. I'm not leaving on Sunday. I got to get home. I was going to see Black Panther again tonight. I'm not playing with y'all. Uh, my boo is waiting on me. And Paris is waiting for me. Yes, uh, we gotta go to Paris. We don't have time. I gotta, we gotta go to Paris. <sighs> we, got, we gotta go to Paris. <laughs> it is coming out so far. Oh. You gotta check out too, don't you? No, not really. Go ahead. What, what do you mean, not really? Because you just give them your card. What you got? Come on, baby. You, le you left your bags. Look at this snow. Oh my god. so I'm confused. In the snow, woohoo! She hates this. I'm so angry. Well, let me oh tell y'all how you good Jesus is. It's, it's, it was dying when I took it out. You can try it though. Let me just tell y'all how real Jesus is. I just got a flight. I booked it within like two seconds. I got a flight to Atlanta with Jayla on her flight. Um, for a layover and then my layover is gonna go to Midway, Chicago. So if we leave out of here, I'm about to be so happy cause I'm just trying to go home. It's, I think it's my mom. Anytime she calls me, good things happen. She's Pocahontas. She, she paints with all the colors of the wind. Like I literally just ran up there and checked in and the lady was like, how did you get that flight? I'm like, I have no idea. It just opened up. She was like, wow. So, I mean, it worked. And I'm like, what? I think, I think Jesus loves me. I think this is what this means. I think that Jesus loves me. How do we check in? Wait, all gates, this way, this way. This is the most confusing Jeez, airport. Matt, I'm stressed. It's okay, listen, my head hurts a little bit, but we are making it. I got some Advil if you need some. I don't got no snacks, but. Listen. I'm more so stressed because I left that dang on battery. You left but your we, battery? I mean, no, oh. no, no. Like it's in the, oh, in the bag, in your suitcase. Yeah. But it's okay. We got enough time to charge. We, yeah, we do. We got time. And we'll probably be delayed a little bit more if they have to keep de icing the plane. We're just praying that Jayla makes it to Paris. <sighs> Listen, this has been a struggle. I don't know what is going on. I think I'm just done. I think from now on, I'm going to tell people, y'all, if y'all want to book me for something, don't do this in the winter. I'm not flying anywhere in February ever again, except for my anniversary trip. That works for whatever reason, that always works. Going other places has been a struggle. Every single event that I've done since February until now has been snowed out or something. We about to check in. I have pre-check, but I don't think my pre-check went through. So I'm about to just try to, I gotta do. There nobody in line. I gotta be regular today. <laughs> I know, but I gotta, take, to the top. I gotta take my shoes off, child. Uh, I don't. I don't like taking my shoes off. This is the least of my worries. I will be as regular. Y'all need to take my wig off. I'll take my wig off. I will <laughs> search me. I'm getting on this flight. Okay, guys. So our flight just landed. We're gonna board this plane. We getting up out of here. Shout out to Delta. Listen, Delta has my heart now. Nerves. <laughs> Stress. This plane needs to take off as soon as we get on. I'm gonna miss my flight. She's not trying to miss her flight. She gotta go to Paris. You gotta go to Paris for both of us. I gotta go to Paris for y'all too. Just come to my chair. I'm gonna show y'all everything. Whatever my eyes see. <laughs> Listen, I'll, you going to Paris for me. I just wanna get home. I had plans tonight. I'm making it home, y'all. I'm making it home. Look at all of this snow, guys. Look at this. This is ridiculous. But we getting on this plane. We're getting on the plane. We're getting on the plane. This is happening. I made it on my flight to Chicago. I made it in I just got off my flight um, from Syracuse. I knew why I was going to my seat. And I was going to put my bag up. And this big black guy 
came to me and he's like, hello beautiful, would you like me to put your bag up for you? And he was like, sure. And I was looking at him and I was like, I've seen you before, who are you? And I sat down and I was like, that's David Banner. So I went to him and I was like, excuse me, do I know you? And he was like, yeah, you know me because you Googled me. And I was like, I had my phone in my hand and I had Googled him. And I was like, we got off the plane and he left. So I didn't get my picture, but it was definitely David Banner. We made it a little late, and so Jayla missed her flight to Paris. So she's at the gate, I guess, trying to figure out what she's gonna do next. I'm on my flight to Chicago. I wish I could stay with her and help her figure out what she's gonna do because that sucks, and I don't want her to like have to miss that trip because it's a really fun trip that she could go on. So to get that opportunity is like a once in a lifetime thing, you know. So hopefully she gets there. Find out on her blog.